Hello, welcome to exercise one and uh, lesson one of Mastering Java here where we're talking about arrays. Let's do the following exercise. Declare and initialize an array of type int, integer, named years married. So the name of the array is years married, which will have five elements. This array holds how many years that families have been married on your street. Store the following data into the array by so storing them into the individual elements of the array. And I give you some data here. So there's five families on my street. I'm naming them family one, two, three, four, five. But the actual data that I want to store is that uh, each family has been married a different number of years there. So these are integer values, and that's why this array is a type integer. Then we're going to print this data to the screen by accessing the elements uh, and using the print statement that we typically use. So what we need to do is create an array to hold this uh, integer data and then we want to print uh, the information to the screen. So your program might look a little different than mine but effectively inside of our uh, program here we're going to first declare uh, and, and allocate memory for an array. So what we have over here on the left hand side of the equal sign is we're telling Java that we want an array uh, called years married and we have uh, the double bracket there indicating it's an array. It's of type integer so we expect it to hold data and what we're doing with it is we're declaring and setting aside memory for five elements of type integer. So at this point uh, it's initialized uh, and its memory is set aside for five uh, for five elements of type integer and Java's putting zeros into that into that memory space right now uh, before we do anything with it. So what we want to do is put our data in it. So we access the elements years married 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Remember when we talk about arrays in Java the first element of the array is always with index 0 and you count up from there. So uh, what we're doing for this first element, we're saying four years married. Notice we have four years up here. The next element in the array is three, which is coming from here. The next element is 10 and so on, 10, 12, and six. Now notice how we have to start accessing elements with element zero. So just be a little careful because you might, on your paper, you might call the first element family one, then family two, then family three. But when you're putting the information into an array, you have to start with the index of zero. So just make sure you don't get off on your counting. So what this is doing is putting this numerical data into our arrays uh, here, and then we want to print it out to the screen. So we have a bunch of print statements, system out, print line, family one has been married for, and then we're accessing this first element of the array. Notice it starts with a, a zero um, for this many years. Family two has been married for the next element number of years and so on. So we're just, we've stored the information and in, now we're printing it out. I put this little sentence here to make it clear what element we're dealing with, but you know, you may or may not have done that in your code. So let me go ahead and save that and run the program. And you can see that family one's been married for four years, family two for three years, and so on and so on. So very simple little example, but important for you to understand. First, we uh, declare the array, and we're now we're setting aside uh, memory for this array. We're setting aside five elements of type integer, and then here we store the information in the array, and then here we're accessing the elements in the print statement to print the information out. Your code might look slightly different, but this is what we're driving at. You want to understand how to declare arrays, how to store information in arrays, and then how to use them in print statements.